Welcome hoarders, today we're going to be playing some more GTA 5 and today we're going to be testing the Rapid GT Classic, uh, I think it's Dubashi, Rapid GT Classic, um, I am, it bothers me because like the car, um, I did a little bit of research and I know that it, even the real life version, resembles a lot of a 1965 and 1966 uh, Shelby GT500 which is what I made mine to look like but it is a 70s and 80s um, Aston Martin V8 and I, I already assumed it was Aston Martin because um the tag on it like because it has the Dubashi name I already assumed that it was um, I assumed right away that it was Aston Martin which I do have a full uh, not 100% full Aston Martin garage um, See, I'm faced with a problem here because I know it's Aston Martin. I'll probably end up changing all the colors and stuff on it. But for the sake of the video, <laughs> I'm definitely going to call it an Aston Martin because that's what it's clearly supposed to be. Even though it, like, the way that uh, Rockstar makes their own version of the cars, they just mix a bunch of other cars together. Together. Uh, pop this in here. I hope there's room. There should be, since it didn't say anything. But this is my all Aston Martin garage, which is mwah, beautiful. Wait, no. This is Aston Martin and Jaguar. That's Aston, Aston, Aston. I'm. Th why is this on this side? This is a Jaguar. What are you doing to me? Is that an X -ja uh, Jaguar XJ220? I do believe is the name of it. Uh, let's pop this up here. Oh, that's cool. You can finally go like side to side and just be like, I want to go here. And then we're going to take the Jackal. We're going to put it down here. And we're going to take this. Put it down where Rapid GT Classic is. Um, this is... Yeah, that's about right. Like, I, I do them oldest to newest. Oldest in the back, newest in the front. This is, I believe... I, I think it's 60s. I know this is uh, 70s. Everything else is extremely new, especially these two. I do love the, uh, what is it, the Vulcan? There's a couple more Aston Martins I need, though. Um, I do like this car. It has some badass hood scoops, that, or uh, exhaust that you can put on it. It's under hoods for some reason, which I think is odd. Um, I do like the hood categories like all that you can pick um it's fairly quick for a muscle car even though it's sports classic but it definitely has the muscle car feel to it because of how much it resembles the shelby gt500 okay i thought i was gonna hit that car and i did not want to i'm just gonna go up to the garage and show you guys real quick what um, the humana, humana, the hoods look like. Uh, I know this video is very late today, um, unless you're watching it on a different day. Otherwise, it's whenever you wanted to watch it. Um, but as of my normal upload schedule, this is going to be very late. This is probably going to be up at uh, 9, 10 o'clock, somewhere around there. 
p.m., not a.m. <laughs> Usually it's 7 a.m. when I have stuff published. But here's the hoods. The best one is coming soon. That's my favorite. I don't think that, uh, like, the the ones with the flaps in the bug catcher, I, I, I don't like those as much. I like, like, the full open bug catcher with the beautiful supercharger. But that's, no, that's not even the best one. What am I doing? That is. <laughs> Sorry. I made myself look like an idiot. Like I always do. Yeah, I, if, if I was into fixing up cars on the game to where they don't look, um, stock. Like all of my cars are basically sleepers. They're all fully stock body wise, but maxed out every other possible way. And my radio comes on every time I don't want it to. But uh, let's go over the test track uh, and see what we can get on this. Okay, after it took me four years to figure out where it was at. Yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely, uh, I'll make the thumbnail the uh, Aston Martin V8. There was also, what was it, the DBS V8 that is a part of it. It also said the uh, Jensen's Interceptor. Like, this car is mixed between a lot of different vehicles. But when I first saw it, I thought Mustang, and then when I saw Dubashi, I'm like, that's some kind of Aston Martin. get this good. I'd love to get this the first time because lately I've been doing these and having to do two or three takes sometimes. We're doing good. Okay. Boop. Um, not sure what vehicle I'll do next. They added a vehicle fairly recently I think when they add like about the time that they added this it's another very expensive car in which I am going to take a while to be able to get and test like the last Jaguar that I did that four wheel drive one that was in my uh, one building but I don't know I, I feel like Rockstar's completely fucking the economy on this game because it's so bad like okay if you're a hacker good for you because you probably own everything but if you're like the average person like me like y doing these videos is not an easy task I have to go every week pretty much every week and buy a new car Granted, a week is quite a while to be able to get the, I think this is $883,000, something like that. There's almost a million, but it's too much money for this. I mean, yeah, they wouldn't be cheap in real life, but it's a game. You should have it under a million. Well, it's, it is, but you know what I mean. Okay, we got 2 minutes, 15.903 seconds. I'm not sure how good that is, so uh, let's go over the leaderboard and find out. As you can see, the Dubashi Rapid GT Classic didn't do terrible. Um, came in 25th place at 2 minutes 15.903 seconds. Um, that is before even the halfway mark of all the cars I did. I did around 56, I believe, as of this video. Um... It's honestly not a bad car um, for it is under uh, sports classic which it would seem more muscle but if it would be sports classic if you look at it as Aston Martin but it'd be muscle if you look at it as Shelby GT 500 but it has the um, Dubashi tag which is like the GTA like fiction version of um, Aston Martin 
But uh, let's go over to the drag track and see what time we can get on that. Okay, let's see where we get on this. You have to admit, though, it does have quite a bit of, like, Shelby GT500 and Mustang qualities to it. Even though those are literally just about the exact same vehicle. I do love them, though. <laughs> well, well. The hell? You guys just see that? <laughs> it showed straight through. Like, the side instead of, like, where it should actually show through. Okay. Boop. What'd we get? 24.526 seconds. Uh, not sure where that is, so let's head back to the leaderboard. This time, it actually did surprisingly well. Um, it came up a, a bunch of points. Actually, um, it's 10 cars faster than the previous test. Uh, last one, it came in 25th place. This time, it came in 15th at 24.526 seconds. Uh, granted, it was just a straight line uh, about, I think it's about a half a mile drag strip. Um, that's not bad. Um, that's close to, it's right in there with all the other classic cars. Uh, the classic Infernus, uh, the classic Cheetah. Uh, it, it's not that bad, to be completely honest. Um... Every once in a while, you can feel the back slip out a little bit on you, but it's you can easily fix it, like correct it as long as you don't um, overcorrect too much. But I uh, guess that's all I have for this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to watch one of my previous, next, and related videos. And remember to follow me on Twitter and Facebook so you can get notified whenever I post a video. And I will see you guys in the next one.